This is Jeff with Northern Tail Sharpening. Today we're going to change the lever on a fur zone clipper. This is a little bit different. It's not like your normal clipper. And a lot of people are having problems with this and uh, I'll show you why. First thing we do is we, we take the, the, this is called a logo board. Uh, it, you don't lift it up because if you do the, the front part, and I'll show you why, we'll just, you move it forward like this by pushing down on the back, it unhooks it. See there's a little, there's a little place there that locks it and you push forward at the same time. Uh, this holds it in the front. And if you lift it up, you're gonna break those off like this one did. So now, uh, this is why it's a little bit different. These are right-handed threads. So if you, if you go to turn it left to take it out, you're gonna strip uh, your front motor mount. So we're gonna turn it righty-loosey. They're completely different than what you're used to doing. See, if you turn it left to take take it out, this is a front motor mount. It's made out of softer metal, and you'll strip this out. That's a $30 part. It's the only part on this clipper that's really expensive. Hell, the switch isn't that expensive. But that's a $30 part, and uh, it's expensive because they know that we're going to strip it out. Same thing, get, uh, uh, get your new lever. Make sure there's grease in there. It'll come in a bag. They can be either white or they can be black. There's no difference, it's just a different, just a different plastic. And then, left to put it in. There we go. It's on. Then put the logo board back on. just like this. Put the back of this in that slot like that and then push down on the front and lock it in place. It's not going anywhere. That's how you change a lever on a fur zone clipper without busting anything and, and uh, stripping out your front motor mount. This is Jeff with Northern Tail Sharp.